Uh, welcome to this lecture on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. Today we are going to be discussing uh, two important topics. Uh, first uh, we are going to be finishing off uh, our discussion on rapid synthesis, an important acetylene based chemistry which was develop, developed in early uh, 1900s uh, uh, or so and then uh, which uh, uh, even have uh, relevance in today's context and then we will go on to another important uh, topic which is metathesis reaction uh, uh, which also uh, uh, had been a very interesting area of chemistry and uh, had been recognized uh, by the conferment of Nobel Prize uh, as uh, recent as uh, 2005. So, uh, now continuing uh, with our discussion on uh, rapid uh, synthesis, uh, we would like to talk about uh, the type of uh, reaction uh, uh, that we have covered in the rapid synthesis. Uh, what we had uh, uh, seen that uh, rapid uh, synthesis uh, uh, sort of engulfs uh, four different types of reaction all starting from a very simplest uh, C2 uh, feedstock which is acetylene and conversion of acetylene uh, to different uh, 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 vinyl uh, uh, derivatives like vinyl uh, alcohol, vinyl cyanide, vinyl chloride. These are just one step conversion of uh, acetylene and these type of reactions are called vinylization reaction. Then we had also uh, seen uh, the reactions of uh, acetylene uh, with aldehydes where uh, it is just uh, alkynylation reaction. Uh, where it just uh, acetylenic CH just adds against the CO uh, bond. We have also seen the reaction of acetylenes with carbon monoxide and uh, water and uh, these are hydrocarboxylation uh, reactions and all of these uh, what uh, we had seen uh, that they produce uh, functionalized acetylenic aliphatic uh, feedstocks uh, which are very important for various transformation in chemical industry. In the last lecture, uh, we had talked about uh, cyclo oligomerization reaction, particularly uh, in terms of with regard to making aromatic uh, compounds uh, using uh, RAPI. So, for example, the reactions of three acetylenic fragments uh, uh, giving uh, benzene uh, uh, is an uh, 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 interesting example of this uh, conventional rapid reaction or uh, proceeding further we have also looked uh, into uh, the reaction of 4 uh, uh, cyclotetramerization uh, of acetylene giving cyclo octatetraene and these are uh, nothing but conventional rapid. Uh, now, uh, uh, in the past uh, lecture, we have also uh, looked at uh, the formation of metallative rapi uh, uh, where two different kinds of alkynes are used uh, in presence of a metal and these are called metallative repay. Okay. Now, uh, what, uh, 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 what uh, uh, one can see that in this case one type of alkyne is used and in this case two types of alkynes are used. Now, uh, when one uh, uh, develops the uh, compounds further, for example, in cases where three different kinds of alkynes are used, then uh, things become more complex uh, 
flex, lack of selectivity, about 38 cross homocoupled and cross coupled products are obtained. So, uh, 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 the things uh, becoming uh, different when there are three different kinds of uh, alkynes. So, uh, now the, uh, the, uh, so, here as we go from here, uh, what we see that this expansion of rapey chemistry with regard to uh, formation of different kinds of aromatic compounds uh, by combination of uh, single acetylene, uh, single type of acetylene to two types of acetylene to what happens when uh, 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 three different types of acetylene uh, have been used. Now, uh, to tell that this uh, uh, rapey chemistry is relevant even today uh, uh, is this fact that in this century in 2001, uh, uh, this problem of three different acetylene has been uh, to give a very selective product have been very nicely uh, demonstrated in this particular uh, uh, paper of Journal of American Chemical Society. Two thousand one, one twenty three, seven nine two five, two seven nine, two six. Uh, so here, uh, the metallative uh, repi with three different uh, acetylenes to give highly selective product uh, has been successfully demonstrated, and we are going to uh, see how uh, this is done this has been done. One thing for uh, 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 to note here that this conversion, this uh, uh, reactions of three different acetylene has not been done together all at once, but has been done in a stepwise fashion as we will see in the synthesis. The synthesis starts with C8H13, this is acetylene number 1 with another acetylene oh this is C6H13. Reacting with a titanium catalyst the propene catalyst so this uh, is an interesting catalyst at minus 50 degree centigrade where the titanium is in plus 2 state to give this cyclopentamethylated species H13 isopyr 2 so, uh, here that reacts with the third acetylene at minus 50 degree centigrade and then the reaction is at to room temperature to give this aromatic 
six membered ring with CUTT butyl C6H13. C six H thirteen D I X three where X three equals O I P R two S O two twelve. So uh, uh, this when treated with H plus or D plus metallates the ring giving the product C six H thirteen H D and this happens in uh, fifty seven percent yield. Uh, this uh, when treated with iodine gives this iodide derivative in 56 percent tilt and this when treated with benzaldehyde gives C6H13 this bicyclic compound in 49 percent yield. So, the important message over here is that this uh, difficulty in attaining selectivity in rapid synthesis was overcome in this beautiful work published in Journal of American Chemical Society 2001 volume 123 7925 to 7926 communication paper where the three acetylenes uh, acetylene 1 and uh, 2 and the third one have been used uh, in uh, uh, sequentially uh, to produce this aromatic ring and good thing is that they have been produced in a highly selective fashion in very high yields. Uh, this is different from the earlier uh, challenges that uh, uh, was involved associated with rapid synthesis 
uh, with regard uh, to trying three different alkynes to form these aromatic compounds. And uh, a nice demonstration of this can be seen in this recent uh, paper, uh, 2001 paper where one can see that highly selective product was uh, synthesized using metal active JP using three different alkynes and all under uh, uh, metal active JP conditions. And another thing to note is that uh, uh, this uh, recent work was published as recently as in 2001, which is about uh, 70 or 80 years earlier uh, than uh, when the AP chemistry was really in vogue. So, uh, uh, what it uh, uh, says and points out uh, is that uh, indeed uh, uh, AP chemistry is very much relevant even in today's context and there are uh, quite a, a big uh, amount of interest that is still there uh, in the development of every reaction and some very esoteric uh, 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 studies uh, have emerged uh, from uh, LAPI chemistry. So, with this uh, 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 I uh, would like to uh, 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 end our discussion on rapid synthesis and uh, to give you a uh, uh, feel for uh, different uh, rapid products one can observe. Uh, let me just uh, summarize uh, the various kinds of uh, uh, products that we had uh, observed and seen uh, uh, from uh, rapid reaction. So, we had seen formation of halides, formation of acetates, anides. thiols, alcohols, Acrylates, benzenes, cyclooctatetraene. even now they can be converted to various kinds of polymers and can also be converted to different <coughs> pyridine and derivatives. So, uh, you know this gives a flair of how rich uh, the rapid chemistry is in terms of uh, uh, different products. Uh, uh, it produces and uh, in short uh, this uh, slide sort of summarizes uh, a different uh, form of uh, rapid product or it tells the strength uh, of rapid chemistry in terms of producing so many different compounds from a very single starting source. So, uh, this uh, is why the rapid chemistry is so important and uh, more on this uh, can be seen in this chemical review. Uh, which I had given reference of uh, if somebody wants to look up uh, can uh, uh, study uh, the same and find uh, more uh, uh, facts about it. So, with this uh, uh, we are going to stop our discussion on uh, rapid chemistry and we are going to be taking up another uh, important topic uh, uh, which is uh, olefin uh, metathesis. Olefin metathesis uh, is a, 
uh, very uh, interesting reaction. Uh, uh, this is an important reaction and considered as a milestone uh, 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 in polymer development of polymer chemistry. Uh, if you see look at the in terms of uh, development, you know uh, the metathesis polymerization uh, uh, sort of uh, came uh, slight uh, even though it originated uh, around at the time of olefin uh, polymerization, polyolefin synthesis. However, uh, the recognition in terms of uh, uh, its impact uh, to the society came much later uh, about 50 or more uh, odd years later. Uh, and as 2005 when it was awarded uh, uh, the Nobel Prize. And uh, this Nobel Prize for uh, metathesis reaction uh, were awarded to three distinguished chemists, uh, Professor uh, J. L. Chauvin, Professor Robert uh, H. Grubbs and Professor Richard R. Schrock uh, professor, uh, for their uh, uh, development uh, uh, or for their contribution uh, in uh, metathesis reaction. Now, uh, unlike uh, the previous topic where which we have covered uh, where uh, 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 the RAP chemistry it, uh, it has been a contribution uh, uh, from the industry uh, uh, more uh, the, uh, than the academic world, uh, the metathesis reaction had been had evolved in the laboratories of academia as well as industry. And, uh, uh, probably uh, much, much more uh, in academic world uh, than in the industry with many uh, contributing uh, from uh, uh, the uh, world of academia. Professor uh, Robert Grubbs uh, is from Caltech, Professor Richard Strzok uh, is uh, uh, from MIT and Professor Chauvin is from France. So, we have here we see the three uh, uh, professors, two from US and one from uh, 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 um, uh, France being awarded uh, recognized for their contribution in metathesis. One, one thing at this juncture I must note that even though these uh, three uh, professors were formally recognized for their contribution in metathesis, uh, metathesis uh, as a field evolved with uh, a lot of players uh, and lot of uh, uh, interested minds uh, contributing and working on it even though uh, three of them were finally uh, recognized for their uh, contribution. Now, uh, uh, the uh, 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 metathesis uh, uh, as mentioned uh, 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 had been a, a child of industry to uh, begin with because uh, there were a lot of uh, unexplained uh, unusual uh, observation uh, that uh, were uh, seen in the uh, uh, chemical industry uh, when it was first observed. So, uh, uh, what uh, is important over here is that as I said that both uh, olefin polymerization as well as uh, uh, olefin metathesis olefin metathesis were of interest in mid uh, uh, 1900s, uh, 1950s and 60s. Uh, it is the olefin uh, polymerization which was uh, sort of uh, cracked much earlier uh, or uh, people found are understood were understood much earlier simple coordination insertion polymerization then olefin metathesis. So, much of the time in metathesis uh, uh, was lost in trying to understand the phenomenon of uh, met metathesis and that is why uh, uh, the uh, field of olefin met metathesis sort of uh, uh, was uh, developed about 10 or 15 or 20 years later uh, than the field of uh, olefin polymerization uh, in my opinion had earlier uh, breakthrough in terms of understanding uh, and mechanism uh, than olefin metathesis even though uh, both uh, probably uh, were uh, of uh, interest or were been explored at in the similar uh, uh, around the same time but one just uh, got uh, the uh, 
uh, understood better uh, uh, and uh, earlier than uh, the other. So, with this uh, I conclude today's uh, lecture where we have looked into uh, this uh, reactive synthesis particularly with regard to the cyclo oligomerization uh, of uh, acetylenes to produce uh, uh, aromatic compounds using metallative repi and what we had uh, discussed in today's uh, lecture is about the use of three different alkynes uh, 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 to form aromatic compounds uh, uh, with uh, highly substituted aromatic compounds with uh, high selectivity because uh, uh, the one of the challenges had uh, of repi had been uh, uh, on going from uh, one type uh, to uh, two type or uh, three types uh, of different uh, alkynes is that there was a drastic loss of selectivity with about thir uh, 30 odd uh, 30 over 30 odd homo and co cross couple products being formed simultaneously formed in the process. Uh, so, we had seen uh, that uh, uh, in a beautiful work uh, as late as as early as 2001 about 50, 60 years uh, uh, since the discovery of Rippy uh, that uh, this has been solved uh, very elegantly using three different uh, acetylenes to produce selective aromatic uh, uh, products uh, using a titanium catalyst. Uh, uh, we had covered that in this lecture and uh, we have also uh, looked into different kind of products uh, that Rippy chemistry throws out and uh, which shows that it makes a large amount of products which completes the whole cycle. So, the utility of rapid chemistry still stands today and uh, with that uh, we have also completed concluded our discussion on rapid and we had initiated our discussion on olefin metathesis another uh, very interesting Nobel prize award winning um, reaction. Uh, with regard to olefin method metathesis what we had spoken about is that even though uh, olefin metathesis and olefin polymerization uh, probably uh, were of interest around the same time which is around mid uh, 19 mid 1900 1950s 40s 60s uh, uh, it is the olefin polymerization which uh, was understood much earlier uh, and its repercussions felt uh, uh, unrecognized much earlier uh, with Nobel Prize in 19, I think 53 uh, or 60, uh, 63, whereas uh, for olefin metathesis the uh, puzzle uh, remained uh, for another two or three decades because before pe people could understand uh, 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 what is going on uh, in this new uh, and rich diverse chemistry. And then finally, uh, the impact of it was felt uh, uh, slightly a few days, decades later with the Nobel Prize being awarded in 2005 about 50 years uh, after uh, then that of olefin uh, polymerization. Uh, so, metathesis also is an important breakthrough in the uh, field of polymerization. Uh, you know, we would also look into uh, various aspects of olefin uh, metathesis uh, uh, in the subsequent lectures. What is important uh, to say is that unlike rapid chemistry which had been exclusively or had been solely uh, developed. Uh, in the purview of industry, a metathesis uh, development uh, had been largely a, uh, both in the academic as well as industrial world, uh, even though uh, the three uh, persons who have been recognized, finally recognized and given awarded the Nobel Prize belong uh, to this academic world, uh, two from US and another from uh, France. So, with this uh, I conclude today's lecture, we are going to be taking uh, discussing a lot on olefin metathesis uh, when we a, a, uh, take up uh, uh, the next lecture. Uh, so, I thank you once again uh, for being with me in this exciting journey of different applications of uh, transition metal organometallics in chemical catalysis. Uh, and I look forward to being with you uh, in the next uh, lecture where we are going to be talking about olefin metathesis uh, in much more detail and depth. Till then, goodbye and thank you.